Hey there everyone, on to the next module. In this um, module we're going to be watching a film called Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. It's a 1939 picture. It's a classic piece of cinema history. Um, so I think you guys will enjoy this one. Um, the director is a guy named Frank Capra. Pretty popular, pretty famous director in his time. Um, as you can see there, the, the film was nominated for 11 Academy Awards. The Academy Awards are relatively new at this point. I think they came about in about 1928, 1929. So they're only 10-ish years old at this point. Um, it won the Best Original Screenplay for its story. Um, and again, 11 nominations. The themes that we're going to deal with in this particular movie will be things like innocence, corruption, individual versus the inhumane mob, and patriotism. So those are big kind of classic themes that were popular at the time, and we'll talk about why in a little bit. The synopsis of this film, when the idealistic young Jefferson Smith ends up being appointed to the United States Senate, he gains the mentorship of Joseph Pine. However, Pine isn't, a noble, isn't as noble as his reputation would indicate, and he becomes involved in a scheme to discredit Smith, who wants to build a boys' campsite where a more lucrative project could go. Determined to stand up against Pine and his corrupt peers, Smith takes his case to the, senator, or to the Senate floor. So that's kind of the synopsis of um, the storyline and what the plot is going to be about. Um, what's going on? So in 1939, um, World War II is raging in Europe. We still haven't gotten involved uh, um, yet, but it's still a big kind of world event that's going on. Um, the film was actually used as a propaganda piece by the Access Alliance um, since it depicted U.S. government corruption. Okay, So um, they picked up on it and tried to use it to their advantage. Um, but it really does tell the story of a positive American, of positive American virtue in the face of power and corruption. So that's really the underlying themes of it. Um, they just took it out of context, right? So it's definitely the American ideals on display here. Good triumphs over evil. That's kind of another underlying theme that you see in this particular movie. Um, the, the, the main character, his name is Jefferson Smith. Um, Thomas Jefferson is who he's named after, okay? And Thomas Jefferson mistrusted the government's potential for abuse of power. So that was something that was um, very kind of um, within his, within Thomas Jefferson's ideals when he was working with, uh, you know, forefathers of the country to kind of build kind of what the government would look like. Um, he was very... Um, you know, because of what, what kind of treatment they had received from the monarchy and and their connection to the um, to England, um, he was again very kind of skeptical of the idea that the government would stay true to the people for the people all the time. So um, it's not by accident that the lead character in this film is named after um, Thomas Jefferson. So things to watch out for when you're looking at this film. Okay, why is the government so concerned about who he'll appoint to or who he'll appoint as senator? Okay, so take a take a look at that, look for that, and, and kind of deduce why you think that's the case. Why does Senator Payne help or Pine help Jefferson Smith? Okay, so sometimes things look a little different than they are on the surface. So make sure you kind of dive into that a little bit. Why does Mr. Smith wander off? And what is the filmmaker telling us about him when he does wander off, right? Usually um, in filmmaking, we like to say less, do more. So oftentimes um, you'll get character traits by, um, or filmmakers will show us character traits by what they have the character do more than when they have them say something. Okay, so look for that. So, and so also look for how does the press make Mr. Smith look bad? So there's a typo there, but it's make. Um, how does the press make um, Mr. Smith look bad? Why can't Mr. Smith respond to the allegations on the Senate floor? So pay attention to that. There's reasons behind that. And what is the conflict between Mr. Smith's bill and Senator Pine's bill? Okay, that is something to take uh, take note of. There's, actually, there's a difference in the two bills, and that's where the conflict comes, or a lot of the conflict comes. So make sure you're taking notice of that. Um, those are the things to kind of pay attention for. Again, it's really um, it's a classic piece of cinema history. 
Um, hopefully you enjoy it. Again, you're going to see a little bit more of the evolution of storytelling um, come about here. This is a more dramatic piece, but it's definitely considered a classic, so hopefully you enjoy